What's up guys, Part-Time Gamer Dad here. I've been hearing that Jack Perry is responsible for WrestleMania 40 happening the way that it's happening. But I wanted to pose a different perspective. So after Brawl Out, CM Punk really seemed to have a different approach to AEW and how he interacted with a lot of the wrestlers. He was a little bit more direct, I guess. Uh, but even more so, it seemed like he wanted to get fired. And when we think about how um, CM Punk was consistent in the ways that he tried to get fired, um, and that Tony Khan is the one who fired him, Jack Perry might have been a contributor to what eventually occurred with CM Punk, but he wasn't the one who fired CM Punk. He wasn't CM Punk himself, so CM Punk controlled his own actions. And also at the end of the day, CM Punk signed with WWE and got injured. And there would have been a plan before CM Punk came along. And then when CM Punk got injured, that changed the plans again. So even though Jack Perry is a player in this, I don't think that he is the actual contributing factor or he's, he's, he's the overall biggest contributing factor to WrestleMania 40 happening the way it is. I do think that without Jack Perry, we don't get CM Punk in WWE to a degree by WrestleMania 40, but I do think we eventually get him because remember, he also had issues with Kenny Omega. He had issues with the Bucks. He had issues with Hangman Page. And now he has issues with Booker T in NXT. And so while I feel that Jack Perry definitely played a part and played his part and should, you know what, if he wants to be released from his contract, he should be because um, right now Tony Khan isn't letting him out of his contract, which I do think is kind of crappy. And uh, especially if, if you blame him for costing you your biggest star ever, um, then let him go. Let him go fly and let him go to WWE and <laughs> let let Hunter deal with that whole situation or let Jack Perry go flourish in J, uh, New Japan, which is what he's doing. But at the end of the day, CM Punk is the common denominator through all of this. And while I like CM Punk, CM Punk is the reason CM Punk left WWE. CM Punk's the reason he signed with AEW. CM Punk's the reason that CM Punk got uh, suspended temporarily. CM Punk is the reason CM Punk got fired because of how he reacted because of his actions, not because Jack Perry did something. It's because of how CM Punk acted on his own behalf. And I think it's silly to say that Jack Perry is the reason that everything happened. He's just part of the equation, but he's not even the biggest part. That's Phil Brooks. And it's not a bad thing because WrestleMania 40 is looking like it's going to be a banger. Hey, let me know down below in the comments how excited you are for WrestleMania 40. Do you think um, Jack Perry is the reason that WrestleMania 40 is happening the way it is? Or do you think it's somebody else like me? Do you think it's CM Punk? Do you think it's Tony Khan? Do you think it's Triple H? Do you think it's The Rock? Do you think it's Cody? Um, and then make sure if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you like wrestling, you like video games, you like occasional parent humor, you're in the right place. So uh, thank you guys. I'll see you very soon.